brought to you by my 11 circle play with champions download the app now तो स्पोर्ट्स पे आप सभी का स्वागत है इंडिया और इंग्लैंड की ओडीआई सीरीज कल से शुरू होने वाली है एंड फॉर दैट वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस शी इज अ पार्ट ऑफ इंग्लैंड वुमेन क्रिकेट टीम डैनियल वाइट डैनियल वेलकम टू स्पोर्ट्स तक हाय अनुज थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर हैविंग मी फ्रॉम हियर इन सनी ब्राइटन yeah uh, look uh, looks like uh, you are coming out of practice do you have uh, your practice session today yes we had training we had practice this morning um we did gym um and then just some top up sessions as obviously you know it's the end of the season now we've had a lot of cricket um so it's just a matter of staying fresh and um having our clear plans ready for tomorrow's first odi which we're very excited about Yeah, great, great. First of all, congratulations that you guys have won the T20 series two one. Thank you very much. It was a very, um, and, very close series, wasn't it? I think. Yeah. Um, in that first T20 up in Durham, it was obviously very wet conditions. It was quite cold. Um, and yeah, I thought the way we played in that first T20 was outstanding. And then, obviously, it was India's turn. in the second t20 um and then i think you know the toss was really important in all three games I think chasing on the lights in september is um the way to go i think you know with the dew gets really wet under the lights soon as um, it goes really dark so um yeah i think that really so, played um, a key role you have- but you know you've You still got to go out there and perform and I thought you know with three key players missing in our T20 team yeah. the way that everyone stood up and showed responsibility is a credit to be a part of and everyone contributed um in the squad so um yeah very good signs Yeah so as you guys have won that series so what are the positives uh, as an individual for you you're taking this for uh, the ODI series upcoming ODI series mm-hmm. Um yeah I mean obviously I've played against India on a number of occasions now over the years and had some uh, good success against India I love playing cricket in India whether it be in India or in England um and yeah it's always a friendly battle out there in the middle obviously good friends with a few of the players and as soon as we cross that white line we're enemies um and yeah I guess you know got a few runs across the T20 series the wickets haven't been uh but as paradise but we've had to work really hard for our runs and um yeah just go back to basics really and just have clear plans going into each game what each bowler might bowl at us um and yeah just be really brave really confident and what will be will be and ultimately working well together with your partner that's in at the minute i mean Sophia Dunkley is come in at the top of the order um and batted really well um Alice Capsy coming in Frey Kemp got some really good young talent on show which is very promising signs for the future but then as we all know he done it is uh, unavailable for this series and you guys have won mm-hmm. uh, the series under the captaincy of Amy Jones how do you see her captaincy yeah amy is very chilled um she's really nice and calming influence I mean just looking around and seeing her you know her aura behind the stumps um and her presence you know just brings a calming influence to, around the group which is really crucial and important at this level you know obviously there's there can be a lot of nerves around um and yeah tactically she's very good she knows what she's doing and you know Sophie Epstein as vice captain as well she it's really brought the best out of her um sophie's been great on the pitch so um hopefully uh that can continue throughout this odi series and for myself sophie dunkley as well the the more senior players we've been getting around the youngsters making them feel um comfortable in this environment so yeah it's a it's a team collective and everyone's really stood up and shown responsibility Uh, Daniel you might be knowing that uh, there will be points counting towards uh, the ICC women's world cup qualification and uh, how important will be this series for you guys 
Yeah, obviously, you know, every game that we play for England is important. We're going out there to win, so I think nothing will change. Um, we're just going to try and do our best out there and um, hopefully get that first win tomorrow here in sunny Brighton. And uh, the third ODI, the last ODI is in Lodz. How do you feel playing in Lodz? Yeah, we spoke about that yesterday, actually. We can't wait to play at Lords. It's, not, it's normally a, quite a tough wicket to bat on. I don't normally like playing there, but um, I'm sure we'll come up with some plans on how to face the Indian bowlers there. But yeah, it's a special place to play. Everyone's dream as a cricketer is to play for their country at Lords. So um, yeah, that will be an amazing game. And um, it's going to be a very exciting series and we can't wait to get going. Daniel, uh, Julian Goswami will be retiring after this uh, ODI series. Uh, do you have anything uh, to say about her career, about her? Mm -hmm. Julian, what a legend. I just saw her, actually. I've not seen her since um, she's been here. It's great to see her. She's a lovely person, always so friendly um, off the pitch. And she's always been a good friend of mine on the cricket field. And we've, we've had some battles in the past. My first international run was against Julan. Um, guided it to third man. I always remember that. Um, and yeah, she's been an exceptional bowler. Um, you know, her skills on show are just, you know, of top talent. And she's shown why she's one of the best bowlers in the world for all of her career. And whenever you see her name on the team sheet, you always, you know, you've got a battle on your hands. and. Um, yeah, she's been an outstanding player for India over the years and it's been a pleasure to get to know her over the years as well. Okay, so we have talked about uh, some cricketing questions. Uh, I have some light questions for you and uh, this will be the last part of this interview. Uh, I have some one word with me and uh, I'll ask these one words with you and uh, you have to uh, uh, speak about these things. Yeah, so uh, your favourite stadium. My favourite stadium is Brabourne Stadium in Mumbai. Um, I love playing cricket in India and I love Mumbai. And um, Yeah, I got a very special knock there um, in a T20 a few years ago. So it's always a really nice wicket to bat on. Um, and yeah, I've got some special memories in Mumbai. Your favourite player? Favourite player... Probably Joss Butler. Love Joss watching Butler. him back. Mm. Favorite sport apart from cricket, as I know that will be uh, it will be your first love apart from cricket. Favorite what? Sorry. Favorite sport. Favorite sport football. Mm. <laughs> uh, favorite movie. Favorite movie Taken. Uh, favorite food? Tandoori chicken. Your best moment as a cricketer till now? Best moment as a cricketer, probably my first T20 100 um, in the Ashes to draw level the Ashes as well. So, uh, so that's all from our side, Daniel. Thanks for joining uh, to Sports Tech and uh, we hope. The series will be good for you and your team as well. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. World Cup की जीत का रास्ता ऑस्ट्रेलिया सीरीज से तय होना है। आप भी जुड़िए भारतीय टीम के सफर में स्पोर्ट्स तक के साथ, जहां आप अपने फोन के जरिए सीधे भारतीय खिलाड़ियों की हौसला अफजाई कर सकते हैं। फटाफट से सब्सक्राइब कीजिए YouTube पर स्पोर्ट्स तक को।